I have a very close association with the composer Jake Hagee. I'm very fortunate to do a lot of his works and uh, Tomer ha uh, has this opportunity to, to produce Out of Darkness and Jake suggested me and I was desperate to do a professional um, a very high quality a version of a production of this piece so I jumped at the opportunity to collaborate here in Atlanta. This is my debut here so I'm thrilled to be here and working with this company and working on this project. Um, I'm committed to this idea of storytelling and to doing something that's non-conventional, something that's not in a 2700 seat auditorium, something that will you can feel not just the energy of the the, the singer-actors or the musicians, but we get to feel the energy of the audience. And feeding off of that, you know, in a small space is just intoxicating. This is a chamber opera, right? So the orchestra, if you want to call it that, is, is small. It's for piano, one violin, one cello, one uh, bass, a clarinet, and in the second act we add a flute, and that's it. So you have this really magical group of, here in Atlanta, we have these amazing musicians. I just had orchestra rehearsal this morning, or chamber music rehearsal with my friends, and, and really creating this, this transparent sonic world so that the, the words can resonate, so that the, the, it's, it's an amazing color and that you have a very transparent color with this small group. I love being in the theater. I love words. You know, I say, and I mean this with all due respect, I don't like conducting music, I like conducting moments. And when you have a strong cast, a strong cast that's committed to the text, to the moment, to the drama, that's what I love to accompany, and that's what I love to lead. The great thing about doing opera that's composive today, and especially with composers like Jack Hagee, who bring um, subjects to our attention, I mean, art is there to um, transform an audience. I mean, Jake and Gene are both um, artists that want to uh, have the audience go on a journey. All of their pieces, all of Jake's compositions are about a journey, are about a transformation. And this subject matter is really important. Um, we, I mean, everyone says we should never forget and we should never forget, but these atrocities are still going on. The inhumanity is still happening. But even though that these are very heavy subjects, there's always a sense of hope. There's always a sense of hope in this pit of despair, of the uh, human resilience that comes across in this storytelling of both Gene and Jake in this piece. Um, that is what it's about. I think that's the most touching thing, is not just the shock and horror of the events of the Holocaust, but it's about hu the humanity and hope and the transformation, and it connects to everyone in the audience. These two are brilliant about really giving the story life, not just through the words of Gene and through the music of Jake, but they really, they capture the heartbeat of the characters, the heartbeat of the moment. That's why this piece is going to resound forever and ever. That's why all of the work that both Jake and Gene do together, it just resonates with the audience.